I don't think God loves me. I have gone far away from God and I have done so many mistakes in my life and I don't think that is a way back. Welcome to another episode of Dil Se, a word from our heart. This is a story of a father who had two sons, the younger one and elder one. Both lived a very happy life. The father was so loving and he had so many servants who took care of their business, of their home and his two sons. They were living so happily. All of a sudden, the younger son came to the father and said, Father, give me my property. I want to go and live an independent life. The father was so disappointed. He asked his son, My son, haven't I given you the freedom? Haven't I given you everything that you needed? Did I not keep you happy? But the son was not willing to answer. He forcefully kept on requesting his father and took his portion and went away to a far land. He had so many friends. He enjoyed. He was partying. He was roaming with friends. He was going to bar. He was drinking. And life seemed to be very interesting and full of fun. On the other hand, the heart of the father was broken. Every day, the father would wait outside the city, waiting for the return of his son. But he would go disappointed back to his house. This son enjoyed with his friend for quite some time. But after his money got over, there was a huge famine in that country and there was no food for people. He went around looking for a job, but he could not get any job. Finally, he was given a job to take care of pigs in a pig farm. It was such a dirty job and he had to eat the food which the pigs would eat. At that time, he was thinking, how in my father's house, the servants would eat such good food and my father would take such good care of everyone. But now, as his son, I am now eating the food given to the pigs. He started realizing the five things that happens in his life, or I would put it in other words as five hours which happened in his life. Number one, he realized that he made a mistake. Many times in our life, we go far away from our Creator. We commit a lot of mistakes, but we don't realize that we are making a mistake. But this son realized that he made a mistake. So first thing that happens in his life, he realized that he was wrong. Second thing, he not only realized, but he decided to return. Many times we realize that we are wrong, but we don't take any efforts to return, which means to correct ourselves. And we try to live as we are. But this son not only realized, but he decided to return. The third R is not only he returned, but he repented. He comes to the father and he repents for the mistake that he committed. He said, Father, forgive me for I have committed sin against you and my creator. I did a big blunder in my life. Please forgive me. He fell at the feet of the father. But you know what the father did? He took hold of his son and hugged him, embraced him, he kissed him and said, my son, I was waiting for you every day that you will one day come back to me. That is the love of the Father. That is the love of the Creator God who loves you, who created you. You are his child and he's waiting to return. The fourth hour that happened is he was restored. The Father immediately announced that my son has come. Let us hold a party. Let us hold a party for everyone and celebrate because my son was lost, but now he is found. And fifth, he gave his ring for the son 
The fifth hour is a ring, which means authority. He gave the same authority. The father did not say, you son, you cheated me, you disappointed me. So I will only accept you as a servant, not as a son. No, my dear friends, the father loved and showed the same love as a son and gave him the ring of authority for him to call him as father. Yes. Even today, you might be thinking that I have gone far away from my Creator. I have gone far away from my God. There is no hope for me. I have been sinning and there is no way that I can come back. But there is a hope for you. Jesus died on the cross so that you and I may be saved. That is why. There is a verse which says in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. Maybe we have lost our hope and joy and peace being in the bondage of sin. But God who loves you like the father in the story, he loves you so much. He is waiting to come back to him. There is a verse which says that God is knocking at the door of your heart and if you open your heart, he will come inside you and live with you. He is a gentle God. He doesn't want to force and come inside anyone. If you accept, if you invite him in your heart, he will come and give you peace and joy. So he is a father and he loves you so much. No matter people may hate you because of your past mistake. Maybe people may reject you and call you that you are a bad person. You are so and so, but he loves you because he is your father. Will you give your heart for him?